Hey guys, this is Dan from Seabro's Git Fiddle, and uh, today, uh, by special request, I've been asked to do a tutorial for the song Nocturno by Guido Luciani. I did a couple of covers of this song, and it's one of my favorite all-time flamenco pieces. First a disclaimer, uh, the song Nocturno is by the artist Guido Luciani, and I know absolutely nothing more about him. Despite my best efforts, I was unable to find any way to contact the guy to ask for permission to do a tutorial. Uh, I couldn't find the album that it was on. It was originally on a, an album called Azucar. Uh, I've never seen that CD since I was about 16 when I first heard this song. Uh, the tablature that I used was actually uh, back engineered from the recording itself, and I've tried to keep the uh, keep the song as accurate as I possibly can. Uh, if this tutorial ever does happen to make it to Mr. Guido Luciani, please contact me. I would love to hear from you, and uh, I hope that I do your song justice here. A note on technique. Everything that I play is not based on flamenco style playing, so a real flamenco player would be using different techniques than I use. I started playing banjo, and so my finger picking technique is based on bluegrass technique as opposed to flamenco technique, so I use a lot more thumb than many flamenco players would. That said, let's get to work here. The song itself is done in rubato timing, and uh, rubato is sped up and slowed down as uh, as per whatever feelings you happen to have. Uh, it does break into a three-four timing in the uh, in the verse section, but that's neither here nor there. We'll show you that when we get to it. So first of all, song is played in standard tuning. Uh, for my cover, I tuned down to the baritone range, but that was just a stylistic preference of mine, so I'm going to do this all in standard tuning. We are going to start off with uh, your D string. We're going to play it at fret 7, and I'm going to get you to put your middle finger on fret 6. There's a reason for this, and it uh, speeds things up a little bit. Your index finger is going to be on your G string at fret 5. So you have your ring finger at fret 7, your middle finger at fret 6, and your index finger at fret 5. You're going to play uh, the bottom four strings in order. I anchor with my pinky. Uh, a real flamenco player would probably be playing with, with all four fingers. But uh, we'll do it my way because I can't play flamenco. <laughs> so the first section is playing those four strings. Pick up your ring finger slide down one fret, slide down two frets, slide down one more fret. So that's your first line, is seven, five, zero, zero, five, four, zero, zero, three, two, zero, zero, two, one, zero, zero. Then you're going to do the classical flamenco hammer-on, which is from fret 2, 3, pull, pull, hammer at 2. You can shorten it up to just hammer, pull to 0, and then hammer at 2. that. Now your bass line is going to go down through all the strings. It's 2 one zero, zero, three, one, zero, zero. Two, zero. On your A string, 3, 2, Three. Sorry, it's four. Two. Whoops. One. Sorry. 
So one more time, uh, following the bass line, two on your D string, three, two, zero, three, two, four, two, or four, one, zero. And you're going to take an A minor chord. Oops. Sorry, an E chord. And slide it up one fret. You can do that strum in a couple of different ways. I just use a kind of push down strum, but uh, you can also use all four fingers if you wish to do it that way. So that whole opening line one more time. E string. Now we're going to take the same finger picking pattern and we're going to start at fret 12. So it's 12, and again, make sure that you've got your, uh, you've got two fingers on the same string. So it's a uh, ring finger on fret 12 on your D string, middle finger on fret 11 on your D string, index on fret 10 on your G string. Pick up your ring finger, slide down one. Put your ring finger down one more. Once more, slide to fret, uh, fret 9, pick up your ring finger, or, sorry, that doesn't sound right, okay, yeah, slide to fret uh, 7, so 7, 5, 5, 7, 5, 0, 0, and then the rest of the way down exactly as you did in the opening. line that you had before. So you're just starting up higher. And you're going to use, it almost looks like the Jimi Hendrix chord, but not quite. So it's a zero, two, three, one, three, zero. Strum it upwards. I use a thumbnail for that. I'm sure that there's a better flamenco technique. There's a flamenco hit there. Um, when you're doing flamenco hits, just kind of judge where it is on your guitar. See what sounds right for you. Every artist hits somewhere different and uh, it can work a little bit differently for everybody. So I hit here because it gives me a nice meaty thump, but if you want more of a wood block up here, or you can get a big, big hit at the base, at the base of the uh, bridge. So that's our entire introduction. I'll play it one time uh, in fairly slow-mo.
Okay, our verse starts out with a B string on fret 5. So it's 5, hammer to 6, pull to 5. Five, pull to four, and then one note of five. I'm going to use my index finger and bar, three strings of five, pulling the A string, and your pinky finger at fret eight. So it's uh, 8 on E, 5, 5, then 7, 8, open. Whoops, and ring finger at fret 7. And now you're going with the other fingers with the uh, lower strings. So that's uh, five, five, seven. Then you're going to use a barred minor chord. I believe this is D minor. So D minor at the fifth fret, and you're pulling. Your highest uh, string. Your next chord is from string or from your G string, four, three, four, three, four, with the E string plucked. So you're going up to your fifth fret. Then index at one on your E string, open. finger at fret 3. And then to A minor. Then E chord, I just abbreviate it because you're not playing your A string. So one more time on the chorus. Okay, first part of the first part of the uh, verse starts again. Using your your E. Now slide it up to seven. So that first chord that you had again. Okay. So you're going back, that's the exact same chord that's used in uh, 
Stairway to Heaven. Yeah. Same chord there. Verse repeats again. Okay, that's the verse part. The bridge is starting off in D minor with your minor bar. Stairway to Heaven chord. Slide, it, slide your index finger down to four. Our next chord is kind of crazy. Metallica uses this in in um, Nothing Else Matters. So it is bar at two. So your chording is two, two, four, two, four, zero. Okay. Where were we? I got that wrong. Let's correct that. The first part goes back to your original, goes back a little bit differently, sorry. So you've done your D minor. Stairway to heaven chord. So now you're just using an A, an E. So it's open, three, yeah, that's it, okay. So open D. E. Uh, string number two or B string on on fret two. One more time. Then A minor with your pinky finger at fret three. So that's your A minor chord. Then change it to E. Okay, so that line again. Okay, good. So now the second part of the of the uh, bridge starts off the same way. And now we have that crazy chord. Bar at two, 
So it's two, two, four, two. So it's on your B string, four, two, four, three, four. Then your top three strings, and you change it to the same configuration you'd use for a D minor but you're doing it up here, which is painful on the hand. Okay. Okay, one more time because that's a difficult little transition. I'll get really close with the finger work. Back to your uh, four, two, three, slide back the same way you did before. Okay. Oops. I'm missing this for some reason. It's been a while since I've played this. Okay. So it's uh, on your B string, three, three, one, two. flamenco hit back to the opening now here you're just playing the bottom four notes and it's going to be three one three zero so three one three zero flamenco hit. Once you've done the flamenco hit, and then the verse repeats. And this time, you slide up to 10, 9, 12, 10, 12. And then that same E chord that we did before. So again, your notation on that is 0, 2, 3, 1, 3. beginning at 12 with that uh, flamenco slide down. And now it's a straight E chord. Forte, strong. <laughs> now A minor, starting at the A string. Sorry, E string at four, E string at seven. Now bar your fingers at five for three strings. 
and 9 on your D string. So A, and through the entire thing. So one more time with that last line from A minor. Okay, and that's it. That's all of Nocturno. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, again, with respect to Mr. Luciani, who wrote the song, I was unable to find you to ask for permission to do the tutorial here. If this ever gets into your hands, please contact me. I would love to hear from you.